As the recovery mission gets underway following the devastating news of the presumed death of the five crew members aboard Ocean Gate's Titan submersible, questions are surfacing within the engineering community regarding the structural integrity of the vessel, particularly when compared to other submersibles that have undertaken the Titanic expedition. Deep sea exploration, typically viewed as a routine scientific endeavor, has been thrust into the spotlight as experts seek to understand how such a catastrophic event could have unfolded. Many are now questioning the thoroughness of the testing process undergone by the Titan, including the suitability of the materials used and their ability to withstand the fatigue encountered at depths of 12,000 feet in the Atlantic Ocean, where the wreckage of the RMS Titanic resides. Speculation suggests that the implosion, believed to have occurred around the 9,000-foot mark, might have been a result of the wear and tear experienced by the Titan under the extreme atmospheric conditions it encountered, exacerbated by the materials chosen for construction. Moreover, Concerns have been raised about the adequacy of fatigue testing performed by Ocean Gate in relation to previous trips. Deep sea exploration is subject to stringent regulations that demand a comprehensive array of tests to guarantee the safety and structural stability of submersibles, particularly when deployed for scientific purposes, let alone for commercial travel to explore the Titanic wreckage. While some light-hearted comments have emerged regarding the use of a Logitech gaming console controller to navigate the Titan, Experts in the military field have asserted that employing such controllers for training and remote vehicle or vessel navigation is not uncommon. Renowned filmmaker and deep-sea explorer James Cameron, who has visited the Titanic site multiple times, has shared his concerns about the fate of the Titan, drawing on his extensive experience in deep-sea exploration through his expeditions aboard the Deep Sea Challenger. To understand the potential disparities between the engineering and construction of the Titan and the widely used Deep Sea Challenger submersible piloted by James Cameron, a comparison is necessary. In terms of the vessel's shape, both the Titan and Cameron's Deep Sea Challenger share a similar design. They are both spherical and elongated to minimize drag caused by underwater currents at significant depths. However, Cameron's submersible features a larger spherical window to enhance visibility around the perilous Titanic wreck, in contrast to the more commonly observed porthole window on the Titan. Regarding construction materials, the Deep Sea Challenger primarily utilizes high-strength steel and titanium. Its crew compartment, or sphere, is forged from steel, offering the necessary strength and protection required for occupants in the extreme conditions of the deep sea. On the other hand, the Titan incorporates titanium and carbon fiber instead of high-strength steel and titanium. Additionally, unlike the Deep Sea Challenger, the Titan lacks a separate crew compartment within the submersible. Both the Titan and the Deep Sea Challenger boast advanced technology on board. The Titan is equipped with a subsea imaging 4K Rayfin camera for capturing detailed footage of the underwater environment, a Teledyne 2D sonar for mapping the underwater topography and detecting objects, 40,000 lumens of external lights, and a 2G robotics laser scanner to aid in the creation of detailed 3D maps of the underwater terrain. The Titan also employs an integrated navigation system, INS, and ultra-short baseline, USBL, technology for navigation and positioning. In contrast, the Deep Sea Challenger features comparable technology but stands apart from the Titan due to its lack of robotic arms. It has been suggested that Ocean Gate opted against incorporating robotic arms in the Titan to prevent potential entanglement or hindrance during their commercial expeditions, avoiding the risk of getting stuck in sections of the Titanic wreckage. The ongoing discussions surrounding the Titan's structural integrity and its distinctions from the Deep Sea Challenger will undoubtedly provide valuable insights into the investigation into the tragic implosion of the Titan and its implications for deep sea exploration. The scrutiny of the testing process, material selection, and technological differences between the two submersibles serves to shed light on potential factors contributing to the devastating incident. As the recovery mission unfolds, the engineering community is anxiously awaiting further details regarding the sequence of events that led to the catastrophic implosion. It is crucial to determine whether any lapses or deficiencies in the testing procedures were present, and if the chosen materials were truly suited to withstand the immense pressures of the deep sea. The questions surrounding the fatigue endured by the Titan under heavy atmospheric conditions raise concerns about the durability and reliability of the submersible's construction. In addition, the integrity of Ocean Gate's testing protocols is under scrutiny. Deep sea exploration mandates rigorous testing to ensure the safety and stability of submersibles, particularly when used for commercial purposes. The exhaustive nature of these tests is designed to prevent incidents such as implosions, highlighting the need to assess the thoroughness of Ocean Gate's evaluation process. While some may find amusement in the use of a gaming console controller for navigation, experts in the military field have come forward to explain its practicality in training and remote operations. It is essential to separate such humorous anecdotes from the serious investigation into the causes of the implosion. 
James Cameron's perspective as an experienced deep-sea explorer and filmmaker adds significant weight to the ongoing discourse. His insights into the engineering and construction of submersibles, based on his extensive expeditions aboard the Deep Sea Challenger, are invaluable in understanding the potential differences between the Titan and Cameron's trusted vessel. By comparing the shape of the Titan and the Deep Sea Challenger, it becomes evident that both submersibles share a similar design philosophy, with spherical and elongated structures to minimize drag. However, the variation in window size, favoring greater visibility in Cameron's submersible, demonstrates the considerations made for exploring specific sites like the Titanic wreckage. Examining the materials used in construction, the Deep Sea Challenger's reliance on high-strength steel and titanium, including a forged steel crew compartment, showcases a robust approach to endure the harsh conditions of the deep sea. The Titan's utilization of titanium and carbon fiber, while lighter, prompts further investigation into the suitability of these materials for deep sea exploration. Technological disparities between the two submersibles emerge when assessing their respective equipment. Both boast advanced imaging capabilities, sonar systems for mapping and object detection, and illumination features. However, the absence of robotic arms in the Titan, a notable departure from the Deep Sea Challenger, raises important considerations regarding the submersible's maneuverability and potential limitations during underwater operations. The ongoing investigation will require a comprehensive analysis of the structural integrity, testing processes, material choices, and technological specifications of the Titan. Insights from experts in the field, including James Cameron, will contribute to a better understanding of the factors that led to the tragic implosion. As the recovery mission continues and the engineering community seeks answers, it is crucial to learn from this incident and implement improvements to enhance the safety and reliability of future deep-sea explorations. The exploration of the ocean's depths offers unparalleled opportunities for scientific discovery, but it is imperative to prioritize the meticulous engineering and thorough testing necessary to safeguard human lives and preserve the integrity of submersibles in the face of extreme conditions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and explore our other captivating stories in the recommended videos.